Hi, I'm 6'5 Mom, and welcome to 5 Minute Bible. We've been talking about reasons why you may not be hearing the Lord, and today we're going to be discussing the story of Lazarus. And it's interesting because we also discussed the story of Martha, his sister, so there are a lot of wonderful lessons to be learned from this family. But in this story, which is found in John 11, Lazarus is sick, and Mary and Martha send for Jesus because they know that Jesus is where the healing is. But Jesus, when he gets the message that Lazarus is sick, he doesn't come straight back to Jerusalem, to where they are, which isn't Jerusalem, near Jerusalem. He doesn't come straight back. In fact, he waits two more days to make sure that Lazarus is dead before he returns. And when he does return, the first thing out of Martha's mouth is, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And then Martha says the same thing. But see, Jesus didn't come on purpose because he had something greater to show them than they already knew. Jesus knew that they understood and believed he could heal, which is why they called for him. They had no doubt that Jesus would heal their brother. They had no doubt that he was the Messiah, and yet they still had him in a box. And Jesus waited so that he could teach them a deeper truth about himself and his divinity so that he could teach him, teach them that the promise of eternal life isn't just after you die, it is right now because Jesus is the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And at this moment, we can reap the benefits of that, not just in eternity. And he wanted them to grow and have this deeper understanding of him. But in order for that to happen, he had to wait. He had to wait for Lazarus to die so it would go beyond where their faith was. Their faith was at healing. Their faith was not in rising from the dead. So we had to wait so we could teach them this greater thing. And the truth, and in truth, that often happens in our lives as well. Sometimes we're not hearing the Lord because he's waiting. He's waiting for us to reach the point where he could share with us this deeper thing of himself. But we have to be at the point where we can receive it. Like Lazarus had to die, sometimes our preconceived notions or our thoughts about what God can do and what God can't do have to die before he could teach us greater things about himself. I've gone through this recently. My father, after radiation, developed a wicked infection that landed him in the hospital. Right now, during COVID, the hospital's not allowing any visitors. And I tell you, it was heartbreaking not to be able to go and see him. Even more heartbreaking to think of him all alone because he is a super social creature. And um, he didn't even have the strength to use the telephone. So while we talked to nurses between us and dad, there was like radio silence for like four days. And it was distressing. And I was up in the middle of the night praying and saying, Lord, he's all alone. And the Lord reminded me, he said, I will never leave you or forsake you. And I realized that why I fully believed that for myself, I didn't believe that for my father. I felt like I had to be there. I had to be there to make sure he was okay instead of trusting that the Lord was there. And my father was not alone. The funny thing about this is I write about this concept in my book, Lost in the System, the fact that we are not alone, that God is always with us. But it's much easier to believe that for ourselves than it is for someone we care about, for someone we're worried about, to believe, oh yeah, I don't need to be there because God is there, is really tough. And I'm not saying I have it 100% because we are nowhere near the end of this journey. But I do know I had to get to the bottom of it and be in that place of doubt before God could show me this deeper and more wonderful truth about himself. So if you're having trouble hearing God right now, you might ask yourself, what preconceived notions do I need to lay down? What thoughts or theologies do I need to let die so that God can show me a deeper and better truth about himself? Have a blessed week. Please remember to subscribe and hit your notification bell. And Lost in the System is out September 7th. So pre-order now, and I will talk to you later. Bye.